For Mashable, I'm Christian Bryant. After a spinal cord injury, patients have damaged their connections between brain and spinal cord circuits, which are essential for any movement, from a shoulder shrug to bending the tip of a finger. But thanks to researchers at Northwestern University, scientists have developed a function electrical stimulation, or FES, that would create these connections again using only brain power. Normally, an FES system creates artificial signals to contract muscles, temporarily restoring movement. Researchers explained to Nature, before this method was possible, paralyzed patients would have to rely on braces and prosthetic machines to trigger pre-programmed stimulation that caused the paralyzed muscles to move. Their idea? Plant microelectrodes permanently into the subject's brain and have it send the signals. The microelectrodes contain pre-programmed commands that run when the brain activates them. So where's the proof? In this video, a monkey has been trained to pick up a ball. Here's how it would normally pick up the ball, unhindered by any obstacle. Then scientists simulated the effects of a spinal cord injury by injecting monkeys with an anesthetic to block the nerves at the elbow. In these takes, the FES system is off. Hence, the monkey's arm has a simulated paralysis. It can't pick up the ball. Now, when the FES is switched on, the monkey regains his ability to pick up the ball with little or no change to the natural movement. This process essentially ignores the spinal cord as it passes an artificial signal to the paralyzed muscles, restoring voluntary control. The research is still in early testing. Researchers hope after extensive testing one day we'd be able to replace an entire nervous system with a computer network. For Mashable, I'm Christian Bryant.